welcome back to the third video in our Create a Business Card series. We've created the background, given it a colour and brought in an image to add a bit of decoration to it. And in this video we're now going to enter the text. A word of advice when you're doing business cards, keep the font for your text as simple as possible because of course the people you're giving the business card to needs to be able to read it. It it may look pretty and fancy but if they can't read your telephone number or your web address they can't contact you so you could well lose some business. Okay so off we go creating the text. We need to click on the big A which is the text tool and I always write underneath it. The first thing I'm going to do is push in Ellsworth Miles. Ah, I spelt it wrong, which is quite useful actually. So before we go any further, let's pop the S back in and all you do is click the cursor there and type in the S. I don't like that font. I want to give it a little bit of, um, not flourish, but pretty it up a bit if you like. Um, and there's two ways to do it. If you see note up here, I've typed it in Arial. And if you click on that list, there's all the fonts that you have got on your computer. You may not have got the ones I'm going to use, but you, you, you choose the ones you like. You can see what they look like here, however clicking on the T up here I think is a better way to see what your text is going to look like. And it's defaulted to Arial, it's normal and this size is 40 and the line spacing is 125 percent. And all you need to do is click through and you will see in this window here what it looks like. I'll very quickly go through there. But I chose Gabriola and so I know what it is. And I, If you click, whatever it is, click on there and type G and it will default to Gabriola. I'm going to click on that. I like it and if you like it, click apply and then it changes it down here. Let's move that out of the way. So in order to do that, we have to select it and move it there. And let's type in the next line. And that's em at design with, whoops, no spaces, flourish.com. Well, obviously that's much too big for a business card and we'll have to resize it in a minute. But first of all let's change the font. So I go up to the T, it's defaulted to Arial, it's too big. Um, I'm going to just go down quickly. Maybe the Hebrew would be quite good or Arial Narrow. That might be. Should we try Arial Narrow? Yes, it's condensed. And so I'll click apply and let's see what happens. To make it smaller, this time I'm only going to hold the corner. Um, and drag it in. Now I can't really see what it looks like. So let's get that out of the way. And this is where I change the color and you come down to the color palette like we did with the blue and click on there and that's better. I'm going to leave it with that because that's, oh, that's quite nice. I'm going to pause because you don't want me to want to see me typing in all these here and I'll come back to you in a moment. See you in a bit. I've typed them all in and they're on the card here. Oh let's bring Elsbeth in and Turner White. I'm going to finish 
the video here because I want to spend a bit of time showing you how to move the text around, how to make it bigger, smaller and how to put a, the design together and we'll do that in the next video. If you do have any questions or comments pop over to our Facebook page the address is below or email us at sisters at useful graphic design tutorials dot com. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.